Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. And in today's video, we're going to talk about um, this here, which made some headlines last week. This was October 7th, Friday. Um, it said that firefighter, firefighters battled blazes caused by waterlogged electric vehicles in Florida. And um, it said here, amid the aftermath of um, Hurricane Ian, Florida's fire marshal said firefighters are battling numerous fires as the result of electric vehicle batteries becoming waterlogged. Um, he put that out. Um, Jimmy P-A-T-R-O-N-I-S is the fire marshal in Florida and the chief financial officer. So, yeah, I, I've never known a fire marshal to have two, two different jobs. But, um, you know, he says uh, right here. Right here, this this was a tweet that he put he put out. Um, there's a ton of EVs disabled from Ian as those batteries corrode. Fires start. That's a new challenge um, that our firefighters haven't faced before, at least on this kind of scale. So, you know that that got put out a few places. Um, he he put out another tweet here. It takes special training and understanding of EVs to ensure that these fires are put out quickly and safely, um, thanks to North Carolina firefighters who came down um, for their hard work and helped out with uh, the situation down there in Florida. And um, concern over fires ignited as a result of corroded batteries add to other consumer complaints about electric vehicles, including the lack of charging stations, charging effectiveness and uh, electric truck towing capabilities, which I just did a video about. But um, others say not so fast here. Here is um, Clean Technica. I, I, don't, I don't know what this is, but this is Jennifer Sensiba, S-E-N-S-I-B-A. Um, this was two days ago, so this was October 8th, 2022. Um, and uh, she says the fire marshal tells crazy, crazy lies. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. You know, this could be um, just a left-wing person. But um, uh, she said it was, you know, clearly bull. <laughs> but um, not only was this a complete lie being told, but the person telling the lie is using a political technicality to pretend to be an expert in the field he has no experience in. Now that she's talking about the fire marshal. Now, fire marshals um, in the United States is often a member of state, provincial, or territorial government, but may be a part of the building department or a separate department altogether. Uh, their duties vary, but usually include fire code enforcement and investigating fires for origin and cause. Um, they may be sworn law enforcement officers and are, are often experienced firefighters. And um, down here, you know, I just searched fire marshal. And um, this has the, some of the states here. Um, it says, what are a fire marshal responsibilities? A fire marshal is responsible for finding out how and why things go wrong when they do. It is a very important part of the cycle of fire prevention and safety. So um, down here in Florida, the Florida State Fire Marshal is dedicated to protecting life, property, and the environment from the devastation of fire. So, you know, I, I've never known of, I mean, I don't really know fire marshals, but just in the overall um, topic of things, I I've never known a firefighter who has no experience in the field. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I've known of some journalists that maybe maybe don't know much about journalism, but, um, uh, you know, it, it says that, you know, there's a, he said that there's a ton of EVs um, disabled from Ian which the author wrote this may be true, but not for the reason he thinks or wants us to think. Um, there are a few cars on the market that can survive flooding, gas, electric, or whatever else they may run on. The 12-volt electronics of a car 
um, just can't survive being immersed in salt water. They get shorted out, and that's that. If 7% of cars sold in Florida are EVs and a bunch of cars get damaged by flooding, then 7% of the cars destroyed in flooding will be EVs. So um, as these batteries corrode, fires start. Uh, and that's where this author says, uh, that's where the outright lie happens. Um, absent a violent co collision with debris that breaks the waterproof battery compartments open, and EV's battery cells just aren't going to be exposed to water. They're not only watertight, but airtight. Even complete immersion or driving through deep floodwaters won't hurt the battery pack, um, but other electronics that all cars have will probably malfunction, uh, but not start a fire. And then this next paragraph says, the only way flooding can destroy a battery pack is for it to remain underwater for a few days at a time. So there's some conflicting information here. Um, uh, so um, th this author says that, yes, um, Jimmy P-A-T-R-O-N-I-S is technically Florida State Fire Marshal, but that's a very deceptive thing to say, especially when you're trying to act like you're a subject matter expert. Patronus is really the state's chief financial officer and and has the fire marshal title because Florida is so weird, because Florida is weird and puts the state's fire marshal under the CFO. Well, if he's under the CFO, then um, wouldn't they hire a different Fire marshal, I, 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 yeah, I don't know exactly how it's all working, but um, he's a restaurateur turned politician. <laughs> he has an associate's degree in restaurant management, uh, according to this article. So, but um, regardless, you know, th this was a, an electric vehicle they were trying to, you know, put out, and um, th this other article. It says, I think this one says it took 1,500, yeah, right here, <laughs> it, it causing firefighters to dump a staggering 1,500 gallons of water uh, to put out the blaze. So there's definitely a problem right now down in Florida with a lot of things, you know. Uh, I can assure you electric vehicles are um, the least of their worries, but but these cars, you know, they they do go into fire. They they um, they're almost impossible to put out. They have to be completely submerged for days on end to actually get the water to put those fires out. But um, may, maybe it's not because of Ian. Maybe it's just all of the the factors that came into play <laughs> due to this devastating storm. But right now down in Florida, um, just one of many things that the authorities are dealing with is electric vehicles that are, for one reason or another, um, you know, getting set on fire. And it, that in itself, you know, is is new for firefighters to have to deal with especially while they're dealing with all the rest of the aftermath of this storm. So um, a little bit of debate here as to whether whether or not a, a hurricane can actually cause the problems that they're seeing down there. And I, with all the talk about electric vehicles these days, um, just thought it was worth mentioning, so stay tuned, people.